एवरीवन दिस इज नैया पटेल एंड वेलकम बैक विथ मी ऑन द मॉम एडिशन सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस सम ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम्स दैट अ ब्रेस्ट फीडिंग मदर कुड फेस ब्रेस्ट फीडिंग इज अ ग्रेट बॉन्डिंग एक्सपीरियंस विद योर बेबी बट वी हैव टू प्रिवेंट सर्टन प्रॉब्लम्स दैट कुड अकर एंड इफ वी नो बिफोर हैंड वॉट वी कुड डू इफ वी एंड अप विथ हैविंग द प्रॉब्लम्स और प्रिवेंट दैम कम्प्लीटली दैट्स अ ग्रेट वे सो लेट्स गेट क्विकली इन टू इट एंड एनश्योर दैट वी हैव द मोस्ट कम्फर्टेबल एंड एन्जॉयबल ब्रेस्ट फीलिंग एक्सपीरियंस सो सम फाइनल थिंग्स दैट आई वॉन्ट यू टू कीप इन माइंड एंड विच आर इम्पॉर्टेंट when you are breastfeeding your child is firstly make sure that you are sitting in a correct position because if you are not sitting in a correct position it is possible that your baby might choke on your breast milk initially especially for the first 4 or 5 weeks the baby is new to this experience firstly and secondly it is really small it is possible that the baby's face is smaller than your breast for mothers with heavy breast so it is possible that you could squash your baby with your breast or if the nose is not able to breathe properly and if your breast is coming in between and you have to make sure that if you have like a strong rush of breast milk that your baby is not gagging on that breast milk and is not able to breathe because of that and also try and uh, put baby's head a little bit higher than the rest of the body so that they can gulp down easily and uh, monitor definitely monitor all the breast feeding sessions it's not that the baby is feeding and you are going off to sleep uh, at least not in the initial first few weeks because uh, the baby might not be able to cry also if it is choking or if it is gagging so uh, definitely that is one thing we have to have to have to be careful for second thing is cluster feeding is okay for certain periods of time generally around 2 to 3 weeks there is a growth spurt and the baby's feed continuously incessantly every hour every half an hour so it is a possibility that we feel that our breast milk is not enough and the baby is so hungry it always wants to keep feeding but that might not be true it is just that it is a growth spurt and if you wait it out for like a week or two the baby will come back to its routine and a schedule so if there is a cluster feed happening at some point in time not only initially but even later on it is completely okay because some sometimes a growth spurt makes the baby's appetites go really crazy and uh, we mothers have to fulfill it i in fact have put up a video on my youtube channel linking here uh, which is a guide on how we have we can understand whether we are producing enough breast milk or not whether the baby is able to feed well or not so uh, definitely go and check that out if that is a doubt in your mind i in fact also have a video on how to wean off of a baby and it is my attempt at a complete guide on all the available techniques and methods of weaning off and uh, i argue that gradual mother led weaning is the best way to go about it so definitely go and check out this video if not now in the future when you're weaning your baby off the breast milk because um, suddenly stopping or weaning off is not recommendable uh, obviously there are certain exceptions if there is like a medical situation or if there is any other valid reason for that otherwise sudden abrupt weaning is not recommendable anyways go check that video out so the next thing is you have to burp your baby whenever you feed burping is like a release of gas from their digestive tract and this makes sure that whenever the baby is sleeping the baby is able to sleep relax is able to sleep peacefully and if the baby is uh, feeding the next time if there is a burp coming the baby might not be able to feed as well burping after every breast feeding session is mandatory so another tip that i could give you as a mother is always wake your baby up before feeding 
sorry that's an ambulance anyways so uh whenever you are feeding your baby whether it be day or night because babies don't really have a schedule of day and night set yet if your baby is sleepy it will just feed a little and go right back to sleep and we might get confused that it is full already because we cannot see right how much milk the baby is drinking so uh, wake your baby up uh, unwrap the baby if you have swaddled him and play with it a little while if it is already not crying and you know like just just wake that baby up so it is consciously feeding and not in its sleep because sleepy babies are actually uh, they could not be feeding enough and the reason that they are sleeping so much is that they don't have the energy to be awake because they are not feeding well so then it becomes like a vicious cycle and we don't want to get trapped in that cycle so definitely make sure to wake your baby up uh, before every feed so ask for help ask for advice nowadays there are lactation consultant who are experts in helping you breastfeed properly in helping you ensure a good latch in helping you find the positions which work for you and your baby so uh, don't be afraid to ask help uh, sometimes i can understand if a mother is shy to talk about such things to the family or to the doctor but know this it is a very common thing and your doctor and your family all of them must have like the women must have experienced this at some point in time so it is a possibility that they already know what to do with your problem they already have a solution for you your mother or your mother in law or your sister so don't be shy to ask for help in your family and definitely don't be shy to ask your doctor for any questions that you have because once if you have that mind block that i cannot breastfeed and once that is set in your mind it really becomes difficult and it is psychologically disturbing and i don't want that for you to happen and for you to give up on breastfeeding because that is the best thing that you could do for your child so ask for help go get it So in conclusion breastfeeding is a wonderful experience but there are certain problems and if we learn how to prevent and treat them we could escape all those uncomfortable situations and make breastfeeding comfortable and a loving and a bonding experience for us and our child just make sure that you are eating well you are sitting properly uh, you are relaxed stress free and just in a really positive mind space while breastfeeding your child because you're going to pass all that to your kid so if you are a happy mom you are going to have a happy child and also remember that breastfeeding is a journey which is different for every mother and in fact which might be different between uh, children for the same mother so don't compare your experience with somebody else's experience so definitely relax because sometimes breastfeeding is stressful but relaxing will promote more production of breast milk and make this journey of breastfeeding more enjoyable for you so uh, definitely with time with patience and with training you will be a pro at breastfeeding So hoping that you found something useful over here and waiting to see you next time. Bye.